find it before you. I have an eagle eye. Good luck with that. I got Christmas. Christmas eyes. See, these these aren't eyes. These are jingle bells. Are you, is this a challenge? It might be a challenge. Is it a contest? To see I'm going to find way more Christmas stuff. Let's see who finds the best, not just the most, but the best Christmas stuff. And we'll let them be the judge. Well, that's a cute little whatever that is. Shaped like a trumpet. I don't know what its purpose is, but it's cute. Trees. Oh, look at that rug. Wait, are you covering that back up? Yeah. What if I need that? Do you need this? I might. Okay. my butt. <laughs> it's a good thing I love you. <laughs> um, we are at the Kobe swap meet and we have just unloaded the wagon into the car and are going in for round two. We have not even covered half of it yet. Well, no, we haven't. I snuck over there. We did not thoroughly. I haven't. <laughs> I totally haven't. Uh, so we're going to head back inside because I am looking for things now to sell in my upcoming Christmas themed whatnot sale, which is going to be uh, on Saturday, which is like, I don't even know the date. The 11th? No, that's 12th. Friday. The 12th. 12th. The 12th of November. 12th day of Christmas. Which seems like a little bit of a weird time to be doing Christmas, but you know, we're, this is it. We're in. We're in the season now. We are at countdown to Christmas time. We're in countdown to Christmas. So we'll be doing a whatnot sale on Saturday. That will be Christmas themed. It will be at 7, 4, 7, 4, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Because it's on my calendar at Eastern time. 7, 4. 4 p.m. Pacific time. I will be doing that sale. So uh, let's get back into the swap meet and see what we can find. I got to find all the Christmas stuff before you because I want stuff for decoration. Good luck with that. I want to find it before you. I have an eagle eye. Good luck with that. I got Christmas. Christmas eyes. See, these these aren't eyes. These are jingle bells. Are you, is this a challenge? It might be a challenge. Is it a contest? I'm going to find way more Christmas stuff. Let's see who finds the best, not just the most, but the best Christmas stuff. And we'll let them be the judge. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Okay. I am. Oh, boy. We'll nervous. reveal our, our uh, finds. Guys, pick me no matter what. At the end. Let's get shop done. like Mr. and Mrs. Taz. It's a, uh, yeah. Oh, look at this little guy. A little beluga whale. Oh, he's cracked. Cracked all the way through. Now I am supposed to be focusing on finding some Christmas. That's one of those little, um, those little vases that is made to put on the, um, what do you call it? The thing where people are buried. I never know the name of it. <laughs> little, little shelf sitter. It's cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, focus, Danny. Focus. Let's find some good stuff. I like the one with goldfish on them. But that one does not have goldfish. No Christmas yet, huh? Hmm. No Christmas here. Oh my gosh, I know this is not Christmas in any form or fashion, but look at this cookie jar. Oh wow, he is pretty magnificent. I'm looking to see if he's signed. He's not signed. He's just a big stoneware cookie jar that is kind of fantastical. I might have to find out how much he is. No, no. We're going to pass on the pig because he is missing an eyelash. 
and the lid just doesn't fit on securely enough where I feel like if I had them on display, somebody would knock that lid to the ground and it would be all over. Well, that's a cute little whatever that is, shaped like a trumpet. I don't know what its purpose is, but it's cute. Things can be cute and not know what their purpose is, right? Look at this Godzilla. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, he's missing an arm. He's pretty spectacular though. Oh, he was here months and months and months ago, that little puffin guy. <laughs> Do you want a mini shopping cart? <laughs> Do we need a lucky cart? <laughs> Look at that. That is really cool. Did you miss this, Mom? Oh. I did miss that. Oh not my. That, not, not oh. That, that. You need that? <laughs> what do you need that for? For Grant. Ooh. Look at that hand. Cobalt blue hand. Oh, look at that rug! Wait, are you covering that back up? Yeah. What if I need that? Do you need this? I might. Okay. I might need that. Joseph would get offended that he's not represented. Oh, he's kind of represented. He's represented on there. Like. But then it's a bunch of other cats. He's a one cat household. I we have know. no cats, so we have no cats to be offended by adding cats. Although this booth is a little on the furniture side. They wanted twenty dollars for the uh, for the hand, so probably not going to end up with too much here, but we did find some Annalise. Let's see which year these are from. Usually they have the year on them. 1965? Ooh, let's find out how much that is. Some of these look like some really old ornaments. Yes, they do indeed. That, that one doesn't look so old, but well, maybe. Yeah, there's another. This one. You just tell by the, the wear on the glass. And then on the top here, it's going to usually say, uh, like, Germany. Sometimes West Germany. Help you date it a little more. And yeah, some of these some of these have, definitely have some age on them. What's this little guy here? No name on him. He is a cutie though. I do kind of like him. That unfortunately is not a booth that I can shop at. So we just got, I mean, there was some great stuff. I would have loved to have had it, but he wanted $3 a piece on the ornaments, even the little teeny tiny ones in that bucket. So ah, no can do. We'll keep going and find another stuff. Oh yeah, he wanted $10 for the Anna Lee too, which may not have been too bad, but it wasn't in the greatest of condition. and. You know, I may only get 10 to $12 for it, so I have to keep that in mind when I'm buying. These look old with these little monograms. Is it a G? Or, no, it's a C. It's a C. Okay, it's a C. I'd like a whole set of those. Those are pretty fun. That's just a single napkin holder, though. Not going to do us much good. I'm not sure what that would hold, but that's... Supposed to look like branch coral. Kind of cute. Kind of cute. Hmm. I don't see anything else for us on this table. And vendors are starting to pack up. So we have got to move a little quicker to get to the ones that we want to get to. We've got Christmas here, but it's kind of newer Christmas. We are going to look for vintage Christmas. We're going to look for what not Christmas. That's what we're going to look for. All right, this vendor is one that I shop at each time I come. It's good to like find your regulars and know where you can go to get things at a good price. It just saves time. Oh my gosh, look at all this beautiful, beautiful wood. Oh, House of Monkey Pod. Those are, those are awesome. I know, I don't think I've ever seen big square trays like that. I mean, this is all in such fantastic condition too. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. 
see what we got. Over on this side, we've got some Tupperware and things. Looks like a little Pennsylvania Dutch. Oh, it's not in there anymore. Pennsylvania Dutch trivet. Some amber glass. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got over here. It's a little Merry Christmas carousel. Oh, I see. It's broken. It's this little guy. How cute is he? He's a home co. He would have had friends around here somewhere, but you know what? He's a he's a pretty cute standalone too. So we're gonna we're gonna start with him and see what we can do. What do we got over here? Oh, you're a magnet. Got some old ornaments. We've got quite a few ornaments already. Oh, TV guide. Oh my gosh. Look at all the old TV guides. Oh, it's crazy. Let's see. I always got to look through buckets because you never know what little kitschy Christmas thing is going to be hiding amongst the newer, newer stuff. Always worth taking a peek. Like, what's in here? What are you? Let's see. Oh, what are you? <laughs> Still can't see it. Oh, it's a little... It's a little basket with presents. Cute. Not worth a whole lot, but it's cute. Made by Avon. Avon. Avon does a lot of Christmas stuff. A lot of Christmas stuff. Oh. Rudolph. Ooh, that's got a whole bunch of stuff crammed in there. I wonder what's going on with this. It's got like Christmas cards and th or yeah, that's a birthday card and then a Motown record. I just want to see the condition of the uh, the Rudolph record. It's not horrible. It's not horrible. It's not you know it's not mint, but it's not horrible. So I think what's the year on that? If there is one. I don't know, but uh, Wonderland Records, most LPs are available on cassettes or 8-track tapes. It's vintage. Definitely vintage. Let's see how much for that. Oh boy, we got more Christmas stuff to dig through here. Let's see. Oh, Santa on a motorcycle. I'm not seeing anything too old. Like 90s. Yeah, I mean, I get it. 90s is vintage, but is it collectible enough? Is it is it kitschy enough? I don't think so. Not. No. We got to look for older than the 90s. This is a Jim Shore piece, but unfortunately, it's gotten broken, so that's a bummer. We got to leave that one behind. All right, this looks like it's right up my alley. <laughs> it's from La Jolla. It's a uh, starfish. It's a real starfish that they have painted and uh, put a little surfboard with him with dolphins. He's pretty cute. I'm going to put him in the pile. Okay, one more little thing of Christmas to look through here. I do like, I do, do really, really like these. But I do my tree in all birds, so that wouldn't even fit really oh gosh just as I say that look what I'm finding no I don't need to shop for myself I don't need to shop for myself today this is this is for my business we are business shopping today yeah so cute but nothing's really calling to me although that's that's really cute made out of little spools I still, I mean, it's, you know, maybe five to eight dollars worth. I'd have to put a whole bunch of ornaments together. So I'm looking for things with a little more substance or uh, that are turtles. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, 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 no. I can leave him. I can leave him. Okay, I just found this little box marked <laughs> Glass Angel, marked out Hawaiian Angels too. And there are these cute little vintage angels in here. Look at that. He's made, looks like it's made from a mushroom. 
There's these two, and then there's, oh, and then there's an, oh, there's a little Hawaiian one. So we're going to see how much the four little angels are. All right, let's see. I think I'm ready to go settle up with my pile. That is a gourd, and it's sea turtles, and that's going in the pile too. Sea power. The Lionel keychain. There's a little glass. Oh, it's got its original label of Kanawa. See, I love to find things with original labels that really, uh, there's no doubt about it, who made it. And then you've got this as a record. If you find something else, you match kind of that top and the color and the style, and you know, hey, remember that piece I had that was marked correctly? Well, there you go. I'm gonna grab that too. Oh, it's a little, a little gem tree, but I don't know what that gemstone is on top. That's interesting. I know the bottom is amethyst. I'm not sure. And it looks like there's quite a bit of glue residue on that. So I'm gonna leave that for somebody else. Ah, one ringy dingy. Look at this little thing here. Is that a little Omar or what? Look at her. She's made of wood with leather adornments. I don't know what she would hold in her little bowl, but she's off cute. Definitely vintage. We're going to grab her too. His prices were great. Basically a buck a piece for all those things that I had there. Oh, let's go look over here. What are these little guys? Definitely vintage. Let's see if they're actually in there it doesn't feel like it it feels like oh there's one is there one? Oh, it's a kit you have to make it oh never mind you know me i don't i don't do kits i don't i will i will close that back up i get accused a lot of leaving things undone after i've like turned the camera off but trust me some things i i have to turn the camera off and have both of my hands to do so you may not see the final result Cute little, little mouse. I feel like I have enough ornaments. I don't want to have like an all ornament sale. I really want to have a nice variety of high end, middle end, a few low end things so everybody can have some fun in my sale. It's no fun if you come to a sale and everything is high end and there's nothing you're going to be able to buy. So I do try to mix it up and have something in there for everybody. This is interesting. Are they, they're kind of plain. I was looking to see if they have like a Italy or anything on them. Got something on the back of this one, 82. He doesn't look like he goes with these. This is the Jesus. Look, I get nativities all the time where there's no Jesus. This one has two, twinsies. And no marks. That looks old and it's like real rabbit fur. Goodness. Pretty little leaf. What's that say? Handmade in Japan. Lots and lots of stuff was made in Japan, especially like mid-century time period, 60s, 70s, and then I think it was about the 80s when we started seeing more and more things coming from China, and then China kind of took over with the production of all the uh, mass imported goods. Those are kind of pretty. So just the made in Japan doesn't necessarily mean more quality. It just helps you narrow down the age of the item. Wow. That's, a, that's an oldie. Even flow, an even flow old Santa bottle. I have no idea if that has value if it was in good condition. So I definitely can't buy it in bad condition. Ooh, little um, miniature, like little uh, flower hedges. I just, I love this kind of stuff. I wish, I wish I had time to do stuff like that, but I know better. 
I know that ain't happening anytime, anytime soon. I really need to dig through a lot of my own Christmas stuff. Chew, look at this shaker. Cool little drip clays mushroom single shaker. Needs a needs a stopper, but if the price is right, I would pick that up. Look at all these buttons. Buttons. Love old buttons. Cute strawberry plates. Little Pennsylvania Dutch. Lots of Tupperware. What are you? That looks like it's got an old motif on there. Fox Run Craftsman, Nylon, Pennsylvania cookie cutter. That's interesting. That I might pick up. Look at these old Santa trays. These came from Fedco. For 54 cents, they were on clearance. Oh, there's two that look a little different on the bottom. Let's see, are they the same? Nope, they're different. Oh, it's little toy soldiers. Okay, we're gonna see how much those are too. Let's see what else. That is intriguing. Pizza Time Theater. Made in Japan. It's an old Chuck E. Cheese mug. Lusterware. Come on. That's fascinating. All right, we're gonna see how much that is too. I got everything for 10 bucks. Super happy. Oh, that's a bummer. He's uh, all chewed up. These old flocked pieces do pretty good. It's bringing back memories for a generation that's now the uh, the buyers of our time, so. Hmm. Everything on this table is a dollar. So we're looking for some interesting items that could result in some nice little profits, but it's pretty late in the day and it's pretty picked over. Ooh, he's very lightweight. All right, we're gonna keep moving. See all these little nicky nackies here. He's cute, but he's missing an ear. Aw. Is that a little worm? <laughs> it is a little or a caterpillar. Worm, caterpillar, same difference. I've totally and completely lost Jordan. I have no, well, it's a competition. So she's staying ahead of me to try and beat me. But see, she's not, she's buying for herself. She's not, she's not buying for any other purpose. So stick with me, baby, and I'll have you. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Can't say it, can't say it to the, uh, the YouTube bots, though. Mm, kind of nice little vintage candle holders. Those would go good in a Christmas sale, because Christmas is kind of the time for candles. That's a nice little candle holder too. Yeah, I think I'll have a little variety of candle holders in my Christmas sale too, why not? Ooh, there's something in that. Little bits and baubles of things. Hmm. You do something to me. <laughs> or if you prefer, we can take turns, okay. That's just naughty, that's just naughty. Steamboat Willie. Oh, it's just a tin. Just a tin, but it's a Disney tin. How much yeah, is your little it, tin? It, that tin is only $2. $2? Yes. I'll take that tin for $2. And then how much are your little candle holders? Uh, those two for five, so six all together. Okay, so we got, we're at five, so we'd be at seven. Uh, right. Don't $7. don't cheat yourself. Forgive me. <laughs> and how much would this one be? That one there, we're gonna bring you up to ten dollars. Okay, let's do it. Nice little toll brackets, shelf brackets. Those are actually kind of sweet. I like those. I do really like this like brushed brass 
table. I don't know why, I'm not a big metals fan, but that has a really nice look to it. And then look at the lamp with the uh, sheep's head on top. Kind of cool, it's kind of cool. Oh, there's poo on the table. Let's see what we got over here. Are these caught my eye. This looks like llama or alpaca. Oh, there we go. But it's just kind of a, it's just a, like a piece of fabric. I don't know what, probably came off of a blanket at some point. It's interesting with these little amber looking handles, but I think it's newer. All right, this section looks like it has some possibilities. That's interesting. Oh, it's a decanter. The Old Crow Limited Edition Ceramic Chessman. And it's a Rook. Lots of records, something I just really never got into. What are these? Color Bright Water Mount decals. Kind of cute. I see some recycled glass. Not really what I'm looking for here right now. We got some glass fish, but those are not really high quality ones. I'm not sure what this is, like an inkwell? No, it's a handle. It's a handle off something. That's what that is. Oh, some Royal Wooster egg collars. Now this is the set. The one I found the other day was just a single. Really wasn't worth picking up a single, but I'm gonna find out how much these are. Okay, she is making me a killer deal on the uh, Brandy Snifter and the Royal Wooster Egg Coddlers, $40 for the pair. I am getting my little air plants. I love them. I think I'm gonna get this one too. He's cute too. How much is this one? It's gonna be $8. He's also $8. Okay, perfect, I'll take him too. Are, oh, they're just resin. Super cute. I think that would have had a little bottom underneath it. Oh, there's kind of a bougie looking elephant. He's missing one of his tusks. Oh, and he's dropping beads. Oh, little dolphin. Napkin holders. Elephants. He's a home co. Little Siamese kitties. Don't know how old those are, but they're interesting. Very modernistic looking. They are made in China, so I don't think they're horribly old. This one looks like, you know, kind of on the order of the ones that look over the little fish bowls, but he is not. Oh, I don't have a horse hair tortoise yet. They are signed too. Velcita white goat. $28 does not seem like a bad price. And this one's even, this one's smaller. This is M. Bennett Navajo, but I kind of like I like the coloring on that one. Although I kind of like the coloring on that one too. So they're $28. I'm going to have to pick out one. Definitely going to have to pick out one. Reward myself for a, a job well done today. Yeah, yeah, that's how I'm going to justify it. Yeah, I, I do. I love all his color and I like this, this symbol on top. So that's the one. Look at that. We close the place down. I do love the eucalyptus. 
This booth has some cute stuff. A little uh, turkey, salt and peppers. I feel like Avon put these out many, many years ago. Many years ago. It's a cute little planter, Shawnee. See, they know what they have. Oh, is he cracked? I think he's cracked. Napco wear. Yeah, he's he's been repaired. Otherwise, I might have scooped him up. Some really cute vintage stuff. I do like that they have it priced, so I don't have to ask on everything. He's fun. He's twelve. Hmm. Oh, there's that amazing clock. How are you? Hey, I didn't want to interrupt you. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> interrupt away. Interrupt away, okay. Oh, these are these are Russian. This is my girl. This is this is this is my fan right yes. here. She gives yes, me good is. deals. Yes, it is. Think you're my last stop of the day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm almost out of money. You know, I think Those are pretty awesome. Ah, yeah, I'm used to you being on the back row over there. Well, let's let's see what I can find. I'm getting ready to do kind of a fall themed sale. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see what we got. Those are kind of cool. Oh, they're napkin rings. Oh, those are really cool. Ooh. I got some amazing pieces from her booth last time. Look at him. He's really cool. I think he might end up in our pile. Well, yeah, no, that's ending up in my pile. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a for sure going home with me. Let's see. Interesting. I guess the amber is like really a thing now. A lot of people are really into the amber glass. That's actually got a mark on the bottom. C, I don't know if that's CTO Japan. I don't even know if that's coming through the camera because I cannot see my viewfinder because the sun is so bright right here. And look at that. And it's got a little cork in it. I feel like that's an interesting little piece. Let's go ahead and put that in the pile too. Like Look at his little summer so. Alright, let's put him in the pile too. I feel like I'm going to put these little guys in the pile too for my Thanksgiving theme sale. Ooh, look at this little butter crock. That's cute. I love the color. I don't quite know how these work when you put the butter in there and I don't know how those work. Somebody explain how these butter crocs work. I do know I like the, uh, I like the color. And uh, I'm gonna put that on the pile too. <laughs> oh, we got little weights. Oh, I never seen a little stagecoach weight. That's cute. <gasps> Look at this monkey mug. How cute is he? Ooh. Look at her. It's got a few little chippies on it on the bottom there. Oh, it's not a vase. I'm not exactly sure. I guess she's just a sculpture. The. Oh, does she have a tear? Oh, she does have a tear. Well, I'd have a tear too if I didn't have a bottom. Yeah. He's a cutie. Cute little bass and hound. He looks like he's a cigar ash or a cigar um, holder, or I guess an ashtray. I mean, pipe. That's what I was. Yes, that is what I was trying to think of. Pipe. Pipe. Yeah, so we'll put him in the pile too. Oh, how cute is that? Oh my gosh. That's adorable. I love it. I'm pretty sure that's McCoy. I think so. I think so, yeah. If not, it's of that era. All right, I think I have to finish up because 
I'm almost out of money, although I do love those so much. Mm, all right, I gotta go tally up and see where I'm at. I do kind of love this piece too. It's enamel on copper with the little stand. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna add this too. She came and rescued me, and she is pulling the very heavy cart now out to the garage. Garage. You can tell how tired I am. Obviously, I didn't mean garage. I meant the car. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we need to go get some food and then we are gonna share and compare because I have no idea what she bought. She has no idea what I bought except for that last booth where she came and met up with me and rescued me. Uh, so we're gonna do a little uh, haul segment after I do the recap and show you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth on eBay. All right, that's coming up right now, but stay tuned. We'll be back after that to do the reveal and tell you who you got to vote for. I mean, not tell you who you got to vote for, but okay, you know what I mean. Vote on who got the best stuff. Yes, that's it. We didn't really pick the fanciest place in the world to eat, but you know what? It's food, it's close, and I actually haven't been to a Denny's in a very long time, so. We'll get pancakes. I don't like pancakes. You can get something else. I don't want pancakes. I don't know, I don't know what I want, because I don't know what the menu says, but let's go find out. Oh my gosh, gumballs. Kids would like that. Lunch is served. Patty melt with onion rings. What'd you get over there? You got like, oh, you got like breakfast food. I am hungry. What is that? It's crepe. Oh, it's crepe. 
All right, all right, we're digging in. All right, we're home and I've laid out all the items that are Christmas. Since that was our challenge, was the Christmas challenge, this is probably one of my favorites. And no, I am not selling it. That one's a keeper. Uh, but we've got, I will sell this one. I will sell this one. But I got the vintage cookie cutter, all the little ornaments. I got ornaments in the first part of the swap meet adventure. So make sure you go back and watch that video as well. Because those items are also going to be in my Saturday whatnot sale. Um, I got the vintage Rudolph 45. I got these amazing vintage plastic divided trays. I think this is probably one of my favorite finds is these little vintage trays. And then I've got, now these are, you know, they kind of, you know, Christmas. I got them because, well, it's Christmas time and we like to use candles at Christmas time. So those will be in my Christmas sale as well. So that is my little Christmas take. For my, my Christmas challenge haul? Yeah, yeah, what you got? <laughs> I found one pillow. That's a really nice pillow it though. It is a nice pillow. But we'll let, was... we'll let people decide. Did Jordan win the Christmas challenge? I think I did. Or did I win the Christmas challenge? Let us know down in the comments. And now uh, Jordan's on a roll organizing her garage, getting everything all straightened out and spiffied up, getting all her Christmas stuff together. This is what we do in our family. We like we go on these little tangents. I feel like she comes by it honestly. <laughs> what? It's true. You come by it honestly. For me. Stop giving me your problem. All right. So we're going to end now. So with that, you uh, show up at my whatnot sale. It'll be a lot of fun. And make sure you've claimed your $15 to come and spend. And with that, go be profitable and organize your house. And make it fun. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one.